Yeah. Yeah. The SNP, Ian Blackford. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm sure the whole House will want to join me in sending prayers and condolences to the wife of Doddy Weir, who sadly yeah. passed yeah. away at the weekend. The absolute giant of a man, an inspirational figure yeah. in Scottish rugby, and someone who raised eight million pounds for MND charities over the course of the last six years. Our thoughts and prayers are with Cathy, with Hamish, with Angus and with Ben. Mr Speaker, let me wish everyone a happy St Andrew's Day. And those that know anything about St Andrew know that he's not just the patron of Scotland, he's celebrated right across Europe. That is why it is such a sad sight to watch this Prime Minister rammed through a bill that would rip up 4,000 pieces of European law, laws that protect workers' rights, food standards and environmental protections. And it's an even worse sight watching the leader of the Labour Party desperately trying to out-Brexit the Prime Minister, ruining out freedom of movement and any hope of a Swiss-style deal. Brexit is now the elephant in the room that neither the Tories or Labour are willing to confront. When will the Prime Minister finally see reality and admit that Brexit is a significant long-term cause of the UK economic crisis? Well, Mr Speaker, can I start by joining my honourable friend in offering our condolences to the family and friends of Doddy Weir? And I'd also like to pay tribute to him for his campaign to raise awareness of MND, uh, which has made a big difference. Now, Mr Speaker, straightforwardly, I was proud to support Brexit. It was the right thing for this country. It, allow, it, allow, it allows us to, first of all, get control of our borders, which is incredibly important, and reduce migration, all of which, Mr Speaker, I know, the, uh, I, 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 I noticed what he said, and I agree with him actually about the slight dexterity of the leader of the opposition on these uh, on these topics of free movement. And I know he'll join me in reminding the leader of opposition about his previous promise to defend free movement of people. Not something that we support, Mr. Speaker. But we're also seizing the economic opportunities, deregulating, and signing trade deals around the world. That's how we'll drive growth and prosperity. In thank you, Mr. Speaker. And can I thank the Prime Minister for his remarks on Doddy Beer, but once again, what we're seeing over Brexit is better together. We're used to that in Scotland. Yep. The problem for both the Prime Minister and the Labour leader is that when it comes to Brexit, even their own voters don't agree with them. The last YouGov poll showed that a record 56% now believe it was wrong to leave the European yep. Union, and that figure is 71% in Scotland. One in five who actually voted for Brexit have now changed their minds. More and more people across these islands are wise to the fact that make Brexit work is just another stupid slogan. But Scotland can't be stuck with a new Brexit together coalition of the Tories and Labour. So on this St Andrews Day, can the Prime Minister finally tell people in Scotland the democratic path to escape Westminster control, to deliver independence so we can get back to the European Union? Mr Speaker, he, he, talks, he talks about democracy and votes. I think the difference between him and I is that I respect the result of referendums. And he, he, he talks about this. It's just remember one thing, Mr Speaker. We had the fastest vaccine rollout in the world. We had that because of our freedoms after leaving the European Union. 